In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to export data from SPSS into a MySQL database. As you can see here, we've got a simple data set with four variables. The purposes of this tutorial doesn't matter too much what they represent, but it is worth noting that we've got an ID variable. The reason why this is important will become clear later. Our task is to get this data into a database. OK, so click on File, Export, database. This is the export to database wizard. Now it's possible that this window here is blank for you. If it is, you need to set up an ODBC data source. I'm not going to explain how to do that here because I've already explained it in a different video. So if you've got nothing in this box, check that video out, add the ODBC data source and then get back to this video. I'll include a link in the description below. Right, I'm going to work on the assumption that you've got an ODBC data source in this box. Make sure it's highlighted and then click next. This brings up the export to database wizard. You'll see there are a number of different options for the export method. The option we're interested in is the create a new table option. In a future video I might go through and explain the other options but all we want to do is to get data from SPSS into MySQL and this is the best option for that purpose. OK, so the first thing we've got to do is name the new table. I'm going to call our table PEF example. Then click the next button, which brings up a dialog box asking you to select the variables you want to store in the new table. You can see the existing variables here on the left. Basically, use these arrow buttons to get them over onto the right. That's easier than dragging and dropping. So let's start with ID, click, then sex, click, then that one and so on. In this box you can set some of the attributes of the database fields. I'm going to set the sex and ed numeric fields as type their char. There's no particular reason to do this but I want to show you that SPSS can import the value labels for these variables rather than their underlying coding. You just click there and there to get this to happen. The other thing I'm going to do is specify ID as a primary key. Database tables almost always have a field that acts as a primary key as a unique identifier for each row in the table. Now SPSS doesn't support this functionality automatically, but you remember at the beginning of the video I flagged up the significance of the ID variable. The point of that variable was to act as a unique identifier for the cases in our SPSS dataset. And of course it can also function as a unique identifier in a MySQL database. Turn it into a primary key, just click that box. Type should also be int, not double. OK, so that's pretty much it in terms of the setup. As you can see, we've got the ID as a primary key. We've got sex and enumeric as their char types and value labels set here. Pre-PEF and post-PEF are both of type double. OK, so let's click next. This is just a summary dialog box. You can see the name of your data set, the table you're going to create, the fact you're exporting all cases and the type of export. So here we go. Let's press finish. Well, obviously, in the data view, there's nothing to show that the export has worked. But if we fire up a database browser, you can see that we have the PEF example table here. Now, if I double click on that, yep, there's our data. Right, there are a couple of things to note here. The first is that both sex and ed numeric are encoded with their value labels, not with the raw numeric data. And also we've got an ID field here which corresponds to the ID variable in SPSS and this field is functioning as a primary key in the database. Okay, that's it. I hope you found the tutorial helpful. You should now have some idea of how to export data from SPSS into a database, in particular into the MySQL database. Please like and share the video and check out easyspss.com for further SPSS tutorials.